Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand port numbers in TCP. So, the uh, this header, about this header we have seen in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. And every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. In this video, we will try to understand the first row of the TCP header. So, in this first row, we are having two columns. One is source port the other one is destination port so these are the port numbers that are randomly generated by the source and this is the port number that is randomly generated by the destination and this port size uh, port uh, source port is of size 16 bits and this destination port is of size 16 bits so this is also 16 bits and this is also 16 bits now uh, what are the number of port numbers that can be generated with 16 bits? How many port numbers can be generated? Though we are going to use only one port number for one, one process, how many random port numbers can be generated? And uh, there are three different classifications in the port numbers that also we'll try to understand. So with 16 bits, with 16 bits, we can generate 2 power 16 numbers. 2 power 16 numbers means it is 65536 these are these many numbers can be generated and the range of those numbers is from 0 to 65535 so these are the range of numbers that are possible for port numbers it can be for source port or it can be for destination port okay so now so the entire port numbers, the range of uh, 65536 number port numbers are divided into three groups. So what are those groups are? It is from 0 to 1023. So this range of numbers are used for well-known ports. So these are well-known ports these are well known port numbers means for uh, uh, the regularly used protocols like http smtp rtp so for these protocols a regular port numbers the well known port numbers are used for example if you take uh, http http request uh, http it is going to use uh, 80 as its port number and similarly if you take smtp SMTP it is going to use 25 similarly for DHCP it is 61 DHCP DHCP it is 61 okay so these are the well-known port numbers they are regularly used in the communication so for that we have assigned 0 to 1023 port numbers and from 1024 1024 to 49151 so these are registered port numbers these are registered port numbers so these port numbers are registered with iana okay so uh, iana all the numbers related to the networking are uh, are standardized by this iana international assigned number authority so this is the board which is going to take the control of these registered port numbers these registered port numbers are under the control of uh, 10 uh, from 1024 to 4912 uh, 4915 to 151 so these numbers are under the control of iana and it is they are for registered port numbers so if you want to register something some specific port number then you can get this uh, uh, the numbers we can you we, we are going to get from these numbers and similarly from uh, uh, 49152 to uh, 65 six double five three five so these are the remaining numbers and these numbers are private or dynamic port numbers private or dynamic port numbers dynamic port numbers these are the numbers which are dynamically generated by the uh, uh, by the systems and those port numbers will be assigned in the flow so the unique port number for example if in the source system uh, for example in the source system if you are having 10 processes running uh, and they are communicating with different other servers uh, uh, they are in the communication means so each source each uh, each process will get a unique port number 
okay and uh, this this is these are all the different categorization of the port numbers and this is all about uh, the first row of the tcp header which is uh, which describes about the source port number and the destination port number hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching